What's up everyone and welcome to Jayconomics. My name is Jay and it's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we take a look at anything related to finance with a strong focus on investing. So if that sounds like something you want to be a part of, then please consider subscribing and liking this video to help me on my quest to befriend the big, bad YouTube algorithm. So I've been getting this request a lot from you guys and so today we're going to go over how to buy long call options and we'll be using my broker QuestTrade to do so. So first things first, you're going to want to click on options over here on the left hand side. Next, you're going to search for the ticker of your choice the same way you would for the stock. So for the purpose of this video, let's say that after this massive dip, you think Fastly will rebound. So let's check out some call options on Fastly. All right, so now there are a whole bunch of numbers, but what do they all mean? And we're gonna go through all of this in just a second, but before we get into it, anyone who isn't currently part of the Smart Money Squad on our Discord server, you should go join that right now. Lots of good dialogue and content in there. The link is in the description below. So make that thumbs up turn blue, and subscribe if you're new. It really does help the channel a lot. And now without further ado, let's get into the video. So what is an option? Well, an option is the right to buy or sell a stock in the future. For example, if we take a look at the expiration date of January 15th, 2021. So 78 days from now and we pick an out of the money strike price of $85. We can also pick an in the money strike price of $70 if we want to be a little more cautious. Now that being said, the more cautious that you are, the more premium you're going to pay. So that's something to keep in mind. And the more out of the money you go and the closer to the expiry date that you buy, well, then the cheaper the premium will be as the probability of those options actually hitting are lower. Makes sense, right? So let's kind of show you what I mean here. So as you can see here, we have the bid and the ask, which works the same way as for the stock. But this is the premium that you're going to pay for that contract. So the strike price, as we said earlier, is going to be $85. So that's out of the money. For me personally, whenever I do options, I usually am pretty conservative with my strike price and expiry date. So I'm usually gonna stick to like a six to 12 month far out option and um, kind of like a realistic out of the money target price for a company that I really believe in. So I do this because a lot can happen in the short term, and this is why I always have a longer term outlook when I buy options. It just gives you so much more flexibility. We've seen how disastrous short term call options can be if you get too confident. So looking at the Shell Hylian options, the LCA options, the workhorse options, and the list goes on, right? Um, so now in this case, I think it's extremely likely that Fastly bounces back within six months. So I would go with a further out expiry date of around that time. The way this stock has moved in the past, especially as an earnings run up, I think there's a pretty good chance of this happening. So it's something that I'm willing to risk. And so because I want to play this date, uh, a little, this option a little safer than January, 2021, what I could do is pick a, uh, a March. 2021 option, which in this case would be March 19th instead. However, this would obviously cost me more in premium, but again, I'd rather pay the higher premium and make profit and sleep well at night. So let's go ahead and select that one. Now the premium on this one is not cheap, it's around $7.80, which is definitely not something I would typically buy. I look for options, for cheap options, usually with premiums under five. So this wouldn't be an option play that I would typically make, but I still do see a lot of upside in this particular situation, considering the, uh, considering the situation. So, you know, for, for one, this stock sees extreme volatility, both to the upside and to the downside. It was just a few months ago that the stock had dipped from $115 to $75 and then back all the way to $130. So I think that this massive dip is once again unwarranted. I mean, the stock was just trading at $130, now on under $70 a few weeks later because 
of you know uncertainty with one of their clients yes i understand it's their biggest one but i believe it or not i actually think this will make fastly a better company in the long run as it will rely less on that company so there are a few things we can do with option contracts one thing we can do is exercise our options and buy shares of fastly stock at 85 dollars plus our premium of $7.80, so $92.80 total per share. So from now until March 19th, uh, 2021, you can you can buy 100 shares for $92.80 regardless of the current share price. So for example, let's say Fastly shoots up to $115, you can still buy those 100 shares for $92.80. So it, you know, th this is why it, it's very similar to warrants in, in many ways. Now, this is not the primary way to use options to maximize gains, however. The most beneficial way to use options is to sell the premium at a large gain. Now, you can simply sell your option contracts to someone else. For example, if the stock goes up 10%, then the premium will likely have gone up significantly more than that, maybe 40%, 50%, 60%. Granted that we are not too close to the expiration date as time decay does come into play for, for, uh, for long call options like this. So hypothetically, if the stock went up to $85 in a few months and the premium, let's say, went up to, I don't know, $14, let's say, then you can actually sell the profit on your premium. However, if the stock went down 10% and your premium will most likely have also gone down significantly more than that. So the point is, you can make a lot of money with options, but they remain very risky and you know it's important to be very strategic when you're playing options. Now, one thing I wanna say here is that I usually only do options with companies I believe in long-term so that, for example, if things don't go my way, I can potentially buy the 100 shares of the company at the higher price you know, with the premium um, and not, let, not let my initial investment evaporate to zero. Because, of course, you know, if you buy several option contracts, this does get a lot trickier uh, to do as people do have a limited amount of funds at their, uh, at their disposal. So, you know, you want to tread carefully on this. But the reason I would want to do this is because if I'm going to keep the company long term, then, you know, if I'm paying that premium, is it really a big deal? You know, so uh, I kind of see it that way. Of course, you don't have to. You can just, you know, let it expire. So how do we actually buy it? So let's click here and buy it. It's going to show one contract times your premium times 100. So why 100? It's because one contract is going to give you the right to buy 100 shares if you so choose. So two contracts, 200 shares, three contracts, 300 shares, and so on. Now Quest Trade, which is my broker, charges $9.95 commission fee plus $1 extra per contract. So in this case, if we bought one contract of these Fastly options, uh, let's see how much it would, it would cost us uh, $790 over here, including the commission fee. Now, of course, every broker charges different fees, so be sure to check that out before you buy. Now, I've seen so many people listening to other YouTubers kind of like pump stocks and call options based on one catalyst. Right? We had the Shell Hylion merger, we had the Workhorse UPS, USPS contract, we had the LCA merger, and all the SPAC mergers you can think of. And this is literally just based on one catalyst. So this is not, you know, th these are not people that even know what the company does. This is just, I mean, this is gambling is what it is. So, you know, I, I think this is really irresponsible, you know, from other YouTubers, for example, but extremely misinformed as well. And I just, you know, I wanna, I wanna make sure that you guys don't listen to everything you hear always do your own research. And again, that, that goes for me as well, right? Don't just listen to me either. I want you to use multiple sources, uh, you know, and not just YouTube, like do your own research as well. So, so yeah, uh, you know, as I mentioned uh, earlier, I would highly suggest to choose longer term call options with a realistic tar target price that is not based strictly on one catalyst. You're asking for trouble if not. Now, I just wanna show you a few other things here. So if we go to optionsprofitcalculator.com, you'll be able to actually kind of see what you can gain from your option. So we're gonna do the long call here. And then you're just gonna search your symbol like this. So you're gonna to want to FSLY. 
we're gonna get our price. So right now the current share price is $67.34. And then we're gonna go find that current option. So our current option was in March, 2021. Here we go. And we're going to find our option over here, which is over, let's go with the 780 right now. And let's say we have one contract. So that would be the cost of 780 as we checked before. And let's put a range of, I don't know, 60 to all the way to the all-time highs of 130. And let's calculate that. So as you can see here, again, this is not this is not an exact science. It's not going to give you an exact number, but it does give you a general idea of what you can do and what you can be making. So for example, if you, if you, for example, if the, if the stock price hits hundred dollars by February, then you could be looking at 131% gain on your investment, right? And all of this is just in percentage. So, you know, if it does reach the all time highs and let's say for some reason it reaches the all time highs by, you know, by February, well, then you're looking at almost a 500% gain, right? So, and obviously the more contracts you buy, well, the more profit you're going to make, let's say you want to buy three. We can recalculate it, same scenario. Well then for your 500% gain turns into, you know, $11,000 by February, right? And then the sooner it happens, the more you'll make the, and then the closer you get to expiry, well, you know, the higher the chances that you start to uh, lose money. All right, so just be careful with this, but this is a really, really good tool that you can use to, uh, to kind of give you a grasp on that. So that wraps it up for today's episode. I know it was a little bit different from the usual. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video or if you found some value in it. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do some more educational videos like this every now and then. And guys, if this video brought you some value, then please smash that like button for me as it really does help me a lot and the channel. And if you want more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell to be notified when any new video comes out. And of course, please feel free to join the Smart Money Squad Discord server. The link is in the description below. Until next time, take care and invest smart.